today we'll be talking about Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule pretty much is a way of solving a system without using row reduction. At least indirectly. Like so if we have something we have this system over here. We have 5x1 plus 7x2 equals 3. And we have 2x1 plus 4x2 equals 1. First, let me explain the actual formula of Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule says that x of any of any variable equals the determinant of that of that variable over the determinant of the original function. So we have so we have the system of equations. So if we write this in matrix form, it looks like it's five, seven, two, four. x1, x2 equals 3, 1. So this is a, x equals b. Okay, so what we have to do to solve for x1 and x2 is we take three, the com 3, 1 and we put it over here. So we replace this. So this is the x1 column, this is the x2 column, right? So we replace this, I'm sorry, we replace this with our b and we find the determinant. And we put that over the determinant of the original a. So first of all, what's the determinant of the original a? Since this is just a two by two matrix, the determinant of a two by two matrix is simply a d minus b c. So you have five times four minus seven times two, right? So that's 20 minus 14, which is 6. So the determinant of A is simply 6. Okay, so now what's the, now if we put this over here, right? If we say, um, so we're trying to solve for x1 now, right? Using the Kramer's rule. So we replace, we put this over here. This is 7, 4. And now we have to find the determinant of this. This is simply 3 times 4. This is 12 minus 7. And you simply get 5. So x1 simply equals 5 over 6. Now we play, now we do the same thing for x2. So we have 5, 2, Instead of 7, 4, we're going to put 3, 1 now. Because that's the three, 7, 4 is the column for x2. We're going to replace that with our 3, 1, with our b. So we have that, right? So now we just find the term of this, which is 5 minus 6, right? Is negative 1. So finally, x2 equals negative 1 over 6. And we just found the values for x1, x2 without row reduction. In some cases, if you have like a three by three matrix, and as you know, a way of finding the determinant of a three by three matrix is to row reduce the upper triangle form. In that sense, I don't think it would be practical to use Kramer's rule, unless you can find determinants really, really quickly. But for a matrix like this, it's pretty fast, as you can see. So, so row reduction could be, but it all depends on what you're more efficient with. Okay, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.